I'd snuffed out every devil in hell until Netherrealm Invader showed up to piss me off. It would have cost a lot of power fighting them alone, but they were being hunted by my new friends. Call them Fire and Ice. They argue constantly, which is why I usually like to roll solo. But when it comes to killing demonic assholes, these guys don't flinch. I can get along with that. The Grandmasters tipped me off to Kronathon. Said she was resurrecting some netherrealm god named Shinnok. But that's not happening on my watch. Kronik is just as much a devil as Malbosia. Both make promises, both tell lies. Both underestimate me. That's why I'll make a new hell for them. Where they can burn together for eternity. <laughs> The Nether Realm's locked down, but there's still eight hells left to purge. It's time to bring up the reserves. I made choices in my life that sealed my fate. I'm beyond redemption. But even the damned are capable of doing some good. So all you devils out there, making false promises and spewing lies. We're coming, and you don't have a chance in hell. Once I gained the hourglass, my first thought was to rewrite history and redeem the Lin Kuei's honor. But then I thought of Bihan, his life consumed by evil. Before I could redeem my clan, I had to redeem my brother. With the hourglass, I wound back time to our childhood. I studied every second of Bihan's life to understand why. Why he embraced Sector's corruption. Why he reveled in the vile power given to him by Quan Chi. Armed with that knowledge, I re-sculpted the sands of time. I changed Bihan's life and unfroze his heart. Now we are comrades, not rivals. Together, as joint Grand Masters, we lead the Lin Kuei in defense of Earthrealm. It was an epic accident that brought the Terminator here, rather than to his own Earth's past. But it didn't take long for him to adapt. He figured that terminating Kronika and taking her hourglass gave him the best chance at achieving his mission objective. Destroying humanity so that the machines prevail. Turns out the hourglass wasn't the ultimate weapon. No matter how many times the Terminator rebooted history, the war between humans and the machines always ended the same, with their mutual destruction. He realized this war was a losing game. The only way to win was not to play. So the Terminator used the Hourglass to build a future where machines and humans don't fight. They cooperate. The Terminator knew that to preserve this future, no one else could learn about the Hourglass. The information stored in his machine mind was dangerous. It had to be eliminated. That's why the Terminator threw himself into the infinite depths of the Sea of Blood. No one would ever find him, or unlock the Hourglass's secrets. If you could ask him about it, he'd tell you he made the only logical choice. But in my book, that machine's a hero.